So the village of Marici is a very unique place. It is one of the only facilities in the Midwest that provides independent living and independent lifestyle and community for adults with developmental disabilities. For Bengals center Ted Karras, it's a passion that's personal. Autism runs in my family and this is such an underserved need. The education system takes you up to 18 and um, you know, with a little bit of coaching help, these people can live amazingly fulfilling lives and that's what the village aims to, to do. A little more than 100 miles from Cincinnati, just outside Indianapolis. You have to meet Steve over yeah. there. He's the leader. We went to see for ourselves. Oh, hello. What would you say is your favorite part about it's living here? It's just about everything. Not one thing you don't like, huh? Well, I do like the people a lot. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about Ted Karras. Well, he, he is a remarkable guy. What do you have on your finger there? Uh, Super Bowl ring. Super Bowl ring. He lets you wear his Super Bowl ring. Yes. How'd that make you feel? Oh, great. Matt Reaney has been best friends with Karras since junior high school. Ted kind of transforms on the football field and around football, and he is just so all business. But I think once that kind of that football shield comes off, he's such a goofy guy. Goofy, but giving. Since Matt's mom, Colleen, founded Village of Marici in 2007, they haven't once asked Karras for any help with their mission. That's because they've never had to. And he was the one that said, let me come over and see it. And then all of a sudden he's a pro football player and he's starting to make donations just, you know, out of absolutely nowhere. He's been involved all, from the very beginning and he has, just has a heart for uh, the people we serve and really has a respect for the people. Karras dedicating himself to the cause was no surprise, but something that happened last November, no one expected. I was getting so, I was getting inundated with questions about how to get this hat, where can I get a hat, Ted, you got me a hat. Um, and I said, we're going to sell it. And uh, the only way I was going to sell it, though, is if we do it 100% for charity. And Village of Marici is the number one charity that I support. And we were just like, what? <laughs> How's that happen? Making it happen is a lot easier when two childhood friends come up with a plan. We are joined once a little again exposure by doesn't Ted hurt Harris. either. And if you've seen Ted in a post-game interview this season, odds are he's been wearing one of these hats, the Cincy hat. Local 12 was, I think, the first kind of major platform we had. I mean, that was eight days after we started selling. We had no idea how it was going to turn out. When the segment aired, I think we had $18,000 in sales after, you know, that day after the interview. Today we sold 19,000 hats, um, probably about $750,000 in total sales with a profit margin of about $325,000 to $50,000. <laughs> Once we get them all packed, we'll stack them and then put them in a trash bag. I have done this for a long while. We had boxes everywhere. Oh my gosh, remember December, Mike? We yeah, got 27 got boxes right. one day. It takes a good effort of organization to get this going, but I think that it's such a, a neighborly deed and, a, and an underserved need that you know I'll, I'll be working with forever. Now stack those on top, Steve. So it takes a village. It takes a village, yeah, that's a great, that's great. I want some of that. Okay. Let me get in on that action. Okay. And one for Ted, too. Uh, one, one for Ted. Ted. One for Ted. Five shirts yet? No, we haven't gotten the five yet. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.